Okay, so again, balik lang tayo sa nauna nating topic. Now, once you are ready to buy stock or to buy share, maaari mo siyang bilhin sa stock market. Okay? So, this is the place where you can buy or sell uh, stocks. Then, once na bumili ka ng stock, magiging uh, shareholder ka na or part owner ka na. Then, after nun, is kikita ka na through dividends. Again, dividends, this is the part of uh, the profit na kung saan ito yung paghahati-hatian yung lahat ng mga shareholder. Okay, so here are the formulas na pwede na, na may encounter natin sa topic na to. So to solve for the total common dividend, again, to solve for the total common dividend, total common dividend is equal to the total dividend minus the total preferred dividend. So nabanggit natin na pagdating sa dividend, ang unang makakakuha, ang unang babayaran ay ang preferred. Okay? So again, for example, this is the total dividend. Ang unang babayaran ay ang preferred. So preferred stock. Then, ang sunod ay ang common stock. Again, pagdating sa dividend, ang unang babayaran ay ang preferred stock. Then, ang sunod na babayaran ay ang common stock. And another formula is dividend per share. So, paano ba natin kukuhanin ang dividend per share? So, for example, um, si Jollibee. For example, si Jollibee nag-declare na siya ng dividend. Okay? Nag-declare na siya ng dividend na 100,000. So, 100,000 pesos yung dineclare niya na dividend. And, si Jollibee ay mayroong 1,000 shares. So, meron siyang total of 1,000 shares. Okay? So, this common um, dividend, total common dividend na 100,000, ito yung paghahati-hatian ng number of shares, ng shares na to, okay? Ng 1,000 shares. Okay, so again, this total common dividend, the 100,000, ito yung paghahati-hatian ng 1,000 shares. Okay, so to solve for the dividend per share, again, to solve for the dividend per share, so that is equal to total common dividend divided by number of shares. Okay, so this is for common stock. So, dividend per share for preferred stock, that is equal to par value multiplied by the dividend rate. Okay, so kapag kasi sa um, preferred stock, mag-i-invest ka or bibili ka ng share, then uh, yung company magde-decide kung ilang percent ba yung ibibigay sa'yo. So, for example, binili mo yung share, binili mo yung share sa halagang 1,000 pesos. Okay, so again, for example, binili mo yung share sa halagang 1,000 pesos. And yung company nag-decide na yung dividend mo annually is 2% nung share na yon. Okay, this is per share. So, 2% nung share na yon. So, para malaman mo kung magkano ba yung dividend per share na matatanggap mo, so you're just going to multiply the par value Par value, ibig sabihin, ito yung, um, ito yung in-invest mo. Puhunan, kumbaga, this is your face, this is the face value. Okay? Then, this 2% is the dividend rate or the interest rate. Okay, so for example, suppose that company XXX or company XXX declares a dividend of 7,500,000 pesos for its common stock. And there are 80,000 shares of common stock. How much is the dividend per share? Again, ang hinahanap natin dito is the dividend per share. So, to solve for the dividend per share, okay, so dividend per share, Okay, so dividend per share yan na. Dividend per share, so that is equal to total common dividend. So total total common dividend divided by 
the number of shares. Okay, so this is for common, common shares or common stock. Okay, so just substitute. Ano yung value or ano yung total common dividend natin? Our total common dividend is 7,500,000 pesos. Okay, so ito yung dineclare ng company na yun. Ito yung dineclare ng company na total common dividend. So again, 7,500,000. Then divided by how many shares? Number of shares which is 80,000. Thousand shares. Okay, so 7,500,000, which is the total common dividend, divided by the number of shares, which is 80,000. Okay, and next, that is equal to... Okay, so again, 7,500,000 divided by 80,000. So, that is equal to 93.75. So, 93.75. So, ibig sabihin, ayan, so dividend per share, is 93.75 pesos. Okay? So, ibig sabihin po, yung 7,500,000 pesos, kapag pinaghati-hatian nyo ng 80,000 shares, magkakaroon sila ng 93.75 pesos per share. But if you owned 5 uh, shares, then you need to multiply it by 5. And if you owned 10 shares, then you need to multiply it by 10. Okay? So, again, this is dividend per share. Another example. Cash Corporation has 2,500,000 shares of common stock outstanding. If the dividend of 4,000 pesos, okay, again, Cash Corporation has 2,500,000 shares of common stock outstanding. And if the dividend of 4 million pesos was declared by the company directors last year, what are the dividends per share of common stock? And how much would be your earnings if you own 2,500 shares? Okay, so now, analyze natin mabuti ang given. Again, to solve for the dividend per share for the common stock, that is equal to total common dividend divided by the number of shares. Ano yung value ng total common dividend? Balikan lang natin when we say dividend, this is part of the profit. Okay? Part of the profit. At kapag sinabi natin profit, that is money. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pera. Uh, so, ngayon, magkano daw yung paghahati-hatian? Okay? Ano yung total common dividend? Ano yung total common dividend? So, that is, is it 2,500,000 or 4 million? So, that is equal to 4 million pesos. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, yung total common dividend ay 4 million pesos and yung number of shares is 2 million 500 2 million 500 thousand. Okay? So, just divide it. So, that is equal to 1.6 Okay, so 1.6. Ibig sabihin, ang dividend per share mo ang dividend per share mo ay 1 pesos and 60 1 peso and 60 centavos. Okay, and Meron pa tayong isang tanong. How much would be your earnings if you own 2,500 shares? So, this dividend per share sa bawat isang share is 1 peso and 60 centavos. So, paano kapag nagmamayari ka or paano kapag uh, may-ari ka ng 2,500 shares? Okay? 2,500 shares. 
So, you're just going to multiply it by by 2,500. Okay, so again, this 1.60 or 1.60, I'm multiply lang natin okay, sa 2,500 and that is equal to 4,000. So, ibig sabihin po, the dividend per share is 1 peso and 60 centavos, but your total earnings, ayan, so your total earnings is... Four thousand pesos. Okay, so if you owned so your total earnings is four thousand pesos if you owned two thousand five hundred shares. Okay, so again, dividend per share, and minultiply lang natin siya sa 2,500 kasi yun daw yung pag may ari niyang shares. Okay? Bumili siya ng 2,500 shares. And, yun na yung kabuang kinita niya. Another example. Another example, the BOD or the Board of Directors of Juan Company declared a dividend of a dividend of 300,000 pesos okay declared a dividend of 300,000 pesos the company has 30,000 total preferred dividend and 100,000 total common shares calculate the dividend per share and your earnings if you own 2,000 shares. Okay, so again, the BOD of Juan Company declared a total dividend of 300,000 pesos and the company has 30,000 pesos total preferred dividend and 100,000 total common shares. Okay, so ngayon, analyze natin mabuti ang situation. Balik din natin yung um, Ah, balikan natin yung binanggit natin kanina. Sabi natin, pagdating sa dividend, ang unang babayaran ay ang preferred stock. Okay? Pagdating sa dividend, ang unang babayaran ay ang preferred stock. And to solve for the common dividend, total common dividend, the formula is total dividend. Okay, so again, total common dividend. So, that is equal to total dividend minus total preferred dividend. Okay? So, total dividend minus total preferred dividend. Pasensya na, sinortcut ko yung TPDTCD ha. Okay. So, again, wala tayong given na total common dividend. So, ibig sabihin, you need to solve for it. Okay? Just substitute to solve for the total common dividend. What is our total dividend? Our total dividend is 300,000. Okay? So, 300,000 or 300,000 pesos. Then, minus the total preferred dividend. Total preferred dividend is 30,000. Again, una nating babayaran ang total preferred. Then, kung ano yung matitira, so, yun yung magiging total common dividend and yun yung paghahatian ng common stock. Okay? So, that is equal to 300,000 minus 30,000 is equal to 270,000. So, 270,000 pesos. So, this will be the total common dividend. Okay? Then, next, Hanapin natin what is the total common, sorry, dividend per share. Okay? So, ano na yung magiging value or ano na yung magiging dividend per share? Again, to solve for the dividend per share, 
So, ito na yung TCD, or Total Common Dividend. Actually, guys, Total Common Dividend, ha? Hindi lang kasha. Okay. To solve for the dividend per share, Total Common Dividend divided by number of shares. Total Common Dividend natin is 270,000. Okay. Then, divided by the number of shares. Number of shares... Ilan po ang number of shares natin? Total common shares. That is 100,000. Okay. So, next. Divide. So, 270, 1, 2, 3,000 divided by 100,000. So, that is equal to 2.7. Okay. So, ibig sabihin... Yung dividend per share, okay, so yung cut mo, or, okay, so yung cut mo sa kita per share is equal to 2 pesos and 70 centavos. Sa, that is dividend per share, sa kada isang share pa lang. Pero, paano kung, paano kung 2,000 shares ang pagmamayari mo? Okay, so if this is our dividend per share, so magkano yung total na kinita mo kung meron kang 2,000 shares. Okay? So, again, to solve for the total um, total earnings, you're just, you're just going to multiply this dividend per share by your total shares. Okay? This 2.70 So, for your total earning, okay, so we have 2.70, this is the dividend per share, multiply by kung ilang uh, share yung pagmamayari mo, so that is 2,000, okay, so again, 2.7 multiply by 2,000, and that is equal to 5,400. So, ibig sabihin... So, ibig sabihin, yung total na kinita mo ay 5,400 if you own 2,000 shares with 2.70 or 2 pesos and 70 centavos per share. Okay? Okay. So, ngayon naman, what is the stock yield ratio? So, stock yield ratio, it shows... Uh, what percentage of the market price of a share a company annually pays to its state stockholders in the form of dividends? Okay, so when we say stock yield ratio, for example, nag, um, nag invest ako or nabili ko yung share or yung stock na yon sa halagang 100. Okay, at yung presyo ng stock na yon sa stock market ay 100. Pa rin. Okay, so ngayon, nakakatanggap ako ng 50 pesos na dividend. So, kapag sinabi natin stock yield ratio, ilang percent ba yung natatanggap ko noong presyo ng stock? Okay, ilang percent yung kinikita ko? So, since nakakatanggap ako ng 50 pesos na kung saan, 50 pesos na dividend na kung saan ang ang presyo ng share na yon sa market or sa stock market is 100 pesos, ibig sabihin, nakakatanggap ako ng 50%. Okay? 50% na kinita. Again, guys, kapag ang presyo sa stock, ang presyo sa stock market ay hindi po same. Nag-iiba-iba siya. Maaaring ngayong taon ay um, halag, uh, 500 pesos possible na next year. <clears throat> maging 550 or possible that the other year magiging ano na siya, 480. So, di ba, meron tayo narinig na tumaas ang precious stock market, taas mo ba ang stock market? Okay, so hindi siya same. Hindi siya na-fixed. Okay po? So, pabago-bago. So, again, stock yield ratio, ilang percent ba ng market price yung natatanggap mong um, dividend? Okay? 
ilang percent ng market price yung natatanggap mong dividend annually. Okay. So, again, to solve for the stock yield ratio, we have stock yield ratio is equal to dividend per share divided by the market value. So, katulad nga na sinabi ko kanina, kung ang presyo ng share is 100 pesos sa stock market ngayon, and nakakatanggap ako or nakatanggap ako ng 50 pesos, ibig sabihin, 50% yung natanggap ko. Okay? 50% nung market price yung natanggap kong dividend. So, masyado na siyang mataas. Ibig sabihin, malaki na rin yung kinita. Okay, so for example, the XXX Corporation gave 93 pesos and 75 peso centavos dividend per share for its common stock. And the market value of the stock is 115 pesos. So, determine the stock yield ratio. Again, the formula to, for the stock yield ratio so is equal to dividend per share. Okay, so i short ko na lang kasi hindi kasha. Dividend per share divided by the market value. Okay, dividend per share divided by the market value. So, magkano yung dividend per share? Our dividend per share is 93 pesos and 75 centavos. Divided by, magkano yung presyo ng stock na yun? Magkano yung, ah, magkano binibenta sa, sa stock market yung stock na yun? Okay? The market value of that stock is 115 pesos. Okay po. Again, so for example, yung presyo ng stock ay 115 sa stock market. And yung natatanggap ko na dividend ay 93 pesos and 75 centavos. So ang tanong, ilang percent ba? Ilang percent ba ng market value yung natatanggap kong dividend? Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So 93.75 divided by 115, so that is equal to, okay, so 0 0.8152. Okay, so that is equal to 0 0.8152. Okay, so kailangan natin ito ipakita in um, percent. So you're just going to multiply it by 100%. Okay, so again, multiply it by 100%. So, that is equal to 81.52%. So, ibig sabihin po, yung 93.75 na natatanggap ko bilang dividend is 81.52% nung market value or kung magkano ba yung share na yun sa stock market. Okay? Next. Percentage issued or the share percentage. So, kapag sinabi natin share percentage, so, ibig sabihin, ilang percent ba nung uh, company or ilang percent ba yung share mo doon sa total shares? So, for example, si Jollibee ay nag-offer or nagbenta ng shares sa public. Nagbenta siya ng um, 1,000 shares sa public. Okay. And binili mo yung 100, 100 shares. Okay? So, yung share percentage, ilang percent yung pagmamayari mo? Okay? So, kung meron, ang binili mo ay 100 shares, and 100 shares dito sa 1,000 shares, ilang percent yung kontrolado mo? Ilang percent yung kinuha mo? Okay? So, that is for the share percentage. So, to get the share percentage... Just divide, okay, shares you owned divided by the shares of stock. Okay, yung shares sa pagmamayari mo divided by the shares of stock or the total number of shares. Okay, so for example, company A has a total of 100,000 shares of stocks. 
of these shares, you owned 10,000. 10,000. So, what percent of the total shares of stock is controlled by you? Okay? Okay, so again, share percentage. Pag sinabi natin share percentage, ilang percent yung sa'yo doon? Okay? So, ilang percent yung sa'yo doon sa total number of shares? Again, company A has a total of 100,000 shares of stocks. And of these shares, you own 10,000 shares. So, to solve for share percentage, kung ilang, uh, ilang shares yung pagmamayari mo, which is 10,000, then divided by, okay, so divided by the total number of shares or total number of shares of stocks, which is 100,000. Then multiply by 100%. Okay, so 10,000 divided by 100,000, so is equal to, Okay, so 0 0.1, then multiply by 100%, that is 0 0.10, um, okay, 0 0.10 or 1, sorry, 10%. Okay, again, 10,000 divided by 100,000 is equal to 0 0.10, then multiply it by 100%, then that is equal to 10%. Okay po. So, ibig sabihin, yung 10,000 shares na pagmamayari mo ay 10% nung kabuang share.